It's Tuesday of Teacher Appreciation Week. And, oh, Dan and I have switched this week, so you don't have the wrong day. We just had to make a calendar change. It might come as a surprise, but probably not, that I have always loved school. Always. From being a little preschooler at Mercy Center of the Arts, which was a preschool in the bottom of a convent, um, I was destined for life in the religious world from that setting. Um, all the way through seminary. Although truth be told, by the time I was 26, I was pretty done with all those years of school. But in thinking about and praying extra hard for my friends, for our members who are teachers, I was taken to the book of Galatians. Chapter, chapter 6 of Galatians is often titled, Bear One Another's Burdens. And as I read that passage, I was just struck by how teachers do this so well. Verse two, bear one another's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. Chapter, um, verse nine, let us not grow weary in doing what is ripe, right, for we will reap at harvest time if we do not give up. It's the beginning of May. School ends, I think, in about three and a half, four weeks. Kids are going crazy, especially with how crummy our Williamsburg weather has been. Calendars are full to the brim. End of the year concerts and programs and t-shirts and camps and VBS preparation. But we pause, or I hope you will pause, and think about the people in your life who've taught you and led you to this place. Maybe it was a Sunday school teacher who... Their faith was tangible. Their faith was real. Their faith inspired you on your journey. Maybe it was a nun in preschool, like mine was. Um, a nun who poured into me in ways that I can still remember. Maybe it was an elementary school teacher or a middle school, junior high teacher. Maybe it was a graduate school or college professor who saw something in you and pushed you forward when you wanted to give up. Maybe you can't remember a single name or face of a single teacher in all your years, but I'm sure you can remember lessons they instilled in you. Whether it was on what to do, or as often the case in my life, lessons on what not to do. Ultimately, our greatest teacher is Christ. And tonight we examine and hear the face statements of five confirmands. And I've had the gift of being their teacher all year long, of watching their questions and their faith and even their doubts grow and morph and leading them to this place where they get to give us a snapshot just right now of how they think, how they feel, how they understand God is so exciting. So this week, I hope you will appreciate whether through an action or thought or prayer, the teachers in your life or in your family's lives. And I hope and pray that you will keep our compromands in your heart as they continue on this journey, taking this next big step in faith, as they continue to be taught by the greatest teacher ever.